Uh, I think that the Code of Conduct is a very good example of the role that the UN agency can play in resolving uh, a worldwide uh, problem, in this case the problem of pesticide uh, management. Uh, before the Code was there, the situation with pesticides was really uncontrolled and rampant in, uh, in many countries. And uh, this has really improved a lot over the last uh, 30 years. Uh, one of the things that was really important in this was that we have uh, an expert panel made up of FAO and WO, WHO experts that develop specific technical guidelines that provide further guidance for the various elements of the code of conduct. And these guidelines have really contributed tremendously to the development of uh, good pesticide legislation in many countries. And it has helped in uh, getting a harmonized approach among developing countries regarding their labeling requirement for pesticides. It was revised in uh, 2013 and the main change was that it now also applies to uh, public health pesticides, pesticides that are used in uh, vector management. And the uh, other change that came with that is that in January 2014 the World Health Organization also adopted the Code of Conduct as a formal uh, reference document. So that really uh, increased its uh, importance. So since the adoption of the Code of Conduct 30 years ago, uh, a set of guidelines has been developed uh, that covers various areas like legislation, labeling, registration, advertisement, disposal, and all the, part, all the sections of the pesticide life cycle. And some of these guidelines are getting quite old now. So uh, we, we this month uh, issued two uh, revised guidelines, one on pesticide legislation and one on pesticide labeling. The one on legislation makes the point that uh, there should be better links to uh, legislation related to food safety and to uh, environmental legislation. Uh, because in the past the uh, legislation on pesticides was very much seen as in the domain of the Ministry of Agriculture and now the current thinking is that this should be broader uh, that there also is a role for the Ministries of Health and the Ministry of Environment in the review and approval of pesticides. Regarding the labeling guidelines, uh, th the old concerns used to, uh, primarily were the acute toxicity of pesticides and these days there's much more information about long-term chronic uh, health and environmental effects and uh, there is now a new uh, uh, labeling uh, guidance on that also reflects these uh, longer term chronic effects and that was the main reason to revise the labeling guidelines to incorporate uh, this new uh, labeling system. FEO is now inviting countries to uh, review their pesticide legislation uh, based uh, on the guidelines that we have just issued. And then the next, the next step would be to look at the enforcement capacity. We will continue to provide assistance to countries to strengthen their enforcement capacity for implementation of the legislation. Another point is the uh, promotion of integrated pest management. Uh, which is important to reduce reliance on pesticides. Uh, we know that in many cases uh, it is very easy to reduce the uh, 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 amount of pesticide use without uh, really affecting the uh, production levels.